Hi guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, I'm going to solve a problem which was asked in TCS interview. And apart from that problem, there will be three to four interview questions which I'm going to explain. Now, let me explain you about the candidate. So the candidate had three years of experience working as a Java developer. Apart from Java, he was having knowledge about Spring Boot and REST APIs as well. And when he answered these questions and solved the problem, he was selected and offered a CTC of 9.7 LPM. Okay, now let me explain you what was the problem statement which he was asked to solve. So he was asked to write a Java program to group the words by the length using Java add features. So he was provided a list of words. We can consider these words as a list of words. And he was asked to print the word length and the word. So if uh, you have two words with length as a one, then he was asked to group all those words and print along with the length. So if you see this sentence, I have a sentence with the technical words, I and A are the two words which are having length as a one. So one is equal to I and A because I and A are the words which are having length as one. Four is equal to how and with. So four is the length of how and with words. Then there is a word which are which is having five length. There is a word sentence which is having length as of eight. And there is a word technical which are having nine characters. That means the word length is nine. Now let me show you how to solve this. And after that, I will explain the theory questions which were asked. Okay. To achieve this, what I will do, I will write a code. And here you can see, uh, I have written a class group words by length. And inside that I have written a main method, which is going to be starting point for my program execution. Now what I will do, I will declare a list of words. So this list will be list of type string. And this is available inside of java.util package. And I will give the variable name as words. And then what I will do, I will copy the words which we have in the problem statement. So here we have, I have a sentence with technical words. So what I will do, I'll simply copy the words which are there in the problem statement and I will paste it here. So this will give me a list of words. Okay, so arrays dot as list will return a list of all these words. Okay, now I got the list of words. Next thing what I need to do is I need to group the words by their length. For that, I am going to use Java add feature. Okay, now what is the feature which is available in Java? So stream API is one of the feature which is available in Java 8 and I am going to use that stream API feature. So to convert these words into stream, I need to use stream method. So this stream method will generate the stream for the given words. Next thing is I need to group the words. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the collector start grouping by method that will allow me to group the words and then collect the result set into one of the collections. So for that collection, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use collect method. And in this method, I'm going to pass the grouping mechanism for that. I'm going to use collectors dot grouping by function. And this grouping by function takes a parameter and this parameter is nothing but the parameter to group the words by this parameter and this parameter is going to be the length okay so here simply i'm going to mention a function which will give me the length of the word so here string dot length so this function will give me the length of word and this will be grouped by by using collectors dot group by function and I'm going to collect this result set into a map because I need this as an integer and list of words. Okay, so I'll create a map and that map will store my result set. So this map is going to be of type. So this map belongs to java.util and this will have integer as a key and the value will be a list of words. So it is going to be list of string and this is going to be length map okay so i'll give a variable name as a length map so what i did here 
I had a list of words. Then I converted that list of words into a stream, which is available in Java 8. And then I grouped all the words by the length by using collectors.grouping by function. This grouping by function takes a parameter and that parameter is going to be the grouping by parameter. So here I need to group the words by length. So I provided string dot length as a parameter and I will get all the result into a map and I'm going to collect it by using collect method. And this is going to be the map which will have length and the words which are having length or group by length. Okay, now what I will do is simply write a sysout statement and I will print the length map. Okay, so this will give me a map with key as a length of the word and the words which are having or the list of words as a value with that key. So you can see we are getting the expected output. The words which are having length as a one is I and A. How and with has length as a four. Words has length as a five. Sentence has a length of eight. And technical is having a length as a nine. So, okay, guys. So that was about the coding problem statement. Now, let me explain you uh, some very questions which were around the main method. So, let me uh, explain you why uh, this main method has been declared as a public static why this was the first question which was asked why the main method has been declared as a public static why so if you know the importance of these uh, keywords then you will be able to answer this because uh, the main method has been declared as a public static and why and the question is why it is so so this public if you declare any method as a public uh, what happens that method becomes available for everyone so any class can access this method that is the reason it has been public so that jvm should be able to access it without any issue then it was a static so if it was not a static then what would have happened the jvm would have required to create the object of the class first and then it would have required to call that method but it was a overall for creating an object that's the reason it was declared as a main method because if a method is declared as a static you can directly call that method and there is a keyword void basically this is a return type for that method now if it was not a void let us consider it would have been a integer or string type then what would have happened it would have returned that value to jvm but what would have the use of that value as JVM is not going to use that value for any purpose or that value which will be returned will not be useful in your program. That is the reason we are not required to return anything from the main method and that's why it is declared as a void. So when the candidate asked the question, uh, answer uh, uh, this question, then he was promptly asked, why can we change the order of public static void to static public void? or public void static. The answer to this question is, uh, we can change the order of public and static keyword. So you can make it something like static public void or public static void. But this void should be always before your method name because this is a return type. And in Java, you always need to mention the return type before your method name. So you can change it to public static or static public but you cannot have public void static because this void is always before your method name that is a return type and you should always write uh, return type before your method name then the next question was something like can we overwrite the main method yes uh, the, uh, uh, the candidate uh, was asked this question and he said that the main method cannot be overridden. The reason is the main method is declared as a static. And if you declare any method as a static, that method belongs to the class rather than. Uh, okay. And if you declare a method as a static, that method belongs to class and you cannot override the class methods. Okay. So that won't be available in <coughs> child class or it cannot be uh, uh, inherited. And then uh, there was another question related to main method that 
can we overload the main method? The answer to this question is yes, we can overload the main method by passing different types of arguments or by passing different number of arguments. So currently this method takes an array of arguments, but here it this is an array of type string. If you want to write another main method, you can write with a different signature, something like integer arguments, or you can pass a different type of argument, something like this. So here you can see this is a different number of arguments and earlier main method was having a string array as an argument. So the main method will be overridden, but the JVM will call the main method which is having this signature. So JVM searches for the main method which is having public static void main and it should have an array of arguments. And there was one more question. Can we change the variable name to be something like this or any other? x y j so can we change the name of this variable uh, the answer to this question is yes we can change the name of this variable and still your program will be compiled and executed so you can see i have changed the name of the variable and it is still working as expected okay guys so that's it from this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you bye bye